there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to the Merchandise Showcase! Yes, very very good and uh, I can't wait to do this video, I, I've been waiting for weeks to do this. As usual we're going to be sharing your merchandise but we're going to be sharing your merchandise in a different way to the previous episode. We're just going to be sharing pictures of your merchandise, we're not going to tell you guys who sent them in. Uh, because it's all about sharing everyone's merchandise. So, uh, we're not going to tell you who sent them in, but I do want to show you the items that you guys in the theme park community have sent in to me uh, for this episode. Don't forget, you can send some in. You probably heard a crackle there about one of the pieces of merchandise I got to show you today. That's because it's still in the packaging. Very exciting. Uh, but, um, if you want to send in your merchandise for the next showcase video uh, in a few weeks' time, then please send them in. Usual social media links, all in the description down below. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. Send the pictures in and uh, we'll get them on as like a showcase of the merchandise. So without further ado, before I get on to five pieces of my merchandise, here is some of your merchandise instead. So the first picture of your merchandise is a show, a shot, a showcase, a shot of Wickerman, I, uh, Re Wickerman resin, Icon resin, uh, Glatzka resin, and the Nemesis resin. So a massive shout out to um, the person that sent this in. Very good there. I've got the Nemesis one just up on my shelf. I've got the Wickerman one now as well, so I'm just missing that Glatzka one and the Icon one. But thank you very much for sending it in. The next one is an Oblivion resin there, looking very, very good. I've got a similar kind of one, but it's not really a resin. It's got like that snow globe, but it's like an orange or black confetti globe, I guess, uh, <laughs> at the bottom instead. So uh, thank you very much for sending in the picture of this Oblivion resin. looks very, very good. I like the, the rusty stone look, the white stone look uh, with the orange of Oblivion shining through as well. Next up, another picture of resins. We've got Smiler, 13, Rita, Revolution. We've got a little Wicker Man uh, thing there. Surrounded by some Xbox games. Fantastic stuff there. So, thank you very much for sending that in, whoever it was. Uh, we also have a wheel here. Now, I believe this is from the Big Dipper, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, comment down below. I believe uh, this is definitely something from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It looks like, a, like a, an operating wheel. Uh, you can see a bit of the Oblivion resin, so you know that someone sent in more than one pick. But, um, this is definitely a wheel. I believe this is from the Steeplechase. Or the, it's either Steeplechase, Big Dipper, or Grand National. I can't remember which one it was. But, um, you know, thank you very much for sending it in. Um, thanks for sending another picture of your merchandise in. Uh, and very, very interesting. It's nice to have something different there. Uh, next up, we've got Valhalla Plush Doll, I guess. Uh, thank you very much for sending it in. Looks very, very cartoony. It's like something you'd find on Cartoon Network, uh, which is fantastic. So thank you very much for sending that in. Uh, next up, we've got another one of these plush doll things. This is from Nemesis with a nice extra eye to make it look a little bit like something out of My Parents Are Aliens. But thank you very much for sending that one in. It looks fantastic. Um, next up, we've got a plank of wood with some symbols relating to the Wicker Manor, Alton Towers Resort. So again, thank you very much for sending that one in. Very, very good piece of merch there. And finally, we have a light up Wicker Man snow globe with uh, some incredible background scenery on the globe and a very good overall look to it. So again, thank you for that one. And thanks to every single person who sent in merchandise for this video. So thank you very much guys for all of you that sent in your merchandise. It's been fantastic receiving all of that. And again, if you want to send in your merchandise for the next one in a few weeks, then drop those photos in the links in the description down below. Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Insta. I'll save the picture and I'll get it ready for the next merchandise showcase. Now it's time to bring in five pieces of my own merchandise. So let's get started. So let's get st started Excuse me, with... Uh, a pin badge. We love a good pin badge on the show. And we've got this one. I told you it's still in the packaging. This is a Wicker Man one. So this has got the nice gold sort of outline to it. And um, it's got the nice Wicker Man sort of background in there as well. So I, li I like that. And it's got the nice uh, nice gold Alton Towers logo, doesn't it? You've seen these now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very nice pin badge that I got. And, uh, you know, again, it celebrates the beautiful Wicker Man, the GCI wooden roller coaster. So very, very good. And thank you very much for sending it in, guys. 
Next up, uh, why am I sending it in? <laughs> um, why am I saying sending it in? It's mine. Thank you to me for sending it in for my show. You welcome me. <laughs> um, next up, let's move on to some leaflets. Got four leaflets today. Starting off with Lightwater Valley. Uh, very simple, nice guide. Um, I'll have to double check the year of this, but uh, I've got a yeah, 2017. So uh, this was back when uh, Ultimate was still operating. Damn you, COVID. And, um, yeah, very, very good there. So it's not actually... It's not a a full map. It's not like a full map one. It's just like an open open up guide, I guess. Um, so, you know, it's not a full, like, opening map kind of thing. It's just a 2017 guide, I guess. So, uh, and it's got that nice offer on the front. Book online and save over 30%. But don't actually do that because the offer's probably pretty much gone now. So, um, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, but they've got the advertisement on the back for the treetop net, so uh, very, very cool there. And uh, I love this. Uh, to be fair, I love this leaflet because it's got the nice... It's oh, <laughs> Some of them are already dropping off my kneecap. Uh, but it's got, you know, it's got five incredible things on the front. We've got the Jurassic Adventure Golf, that's still there. Treetop nets, I believe that's still there. The falconry's gone by now, I think. That's That's been replaced by the petting farm, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's gone. Angry Birds, that's been rethemed, as far as I know. I think that's gone to back a, like a, a, a general, generic activity part theme. And then you've got Lightwater Country Shopping Village, which I think that's gone as well. So, that's one, two, three out of the five on the front of that. So, it's 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 incredible to think what's happened with Lightwater Valley at the minute. Uh, but there we go. So, it's a lovely leaflet there. Next up, uh, I'm going to go with one of my local parks. Uh, not theme parks, unfortunately, but Safari. This is Yorkshire Wildlife Park, the 2018 Visitor Guide, the Alice in Wonderland event. Uh, we've got the Run for Wildlife Spring 5K. Love Your Zoo Week. Bear All for Polar Bears. Don't ask me what that's about. And Safari Night, uh, which is, of course, the park's usual um, summer concert, I guess. Again, back in a world where there was no COVID. Um... So again, on the front, very interesting map design. I love it. Uh, a little bit of a rip at the bottom. I've just felt it. <laughs> um, now, this was the year before the uh, Wizard of Oz Easter event. It was Alice in Wonderland uh, the previous year before that. Uh, but I did the one where it was Wizard of Oz, and that was last year in 2019. So, uh, you know, very good, these Easter events. It's nice to see them take a classic uh, children's book and spin on it and try and make it an Easter event. Did it with Wizard of Oz last year, year before Alice in Wonderland. So, you know, very good. And the park do really good events. There might not be a theme park, but there's still an attraction. And we do cover theme parks and attractions around the world. We've covered museums in the past on this channel. We've covered water parks. And we've done vlogs from Yorks Wildlife Park. You can check out Yorks Wildlife Park. I believe I've set up a separate playlist uh, for Yorks Wildlife Park. You can find that on the channel somewhere. And uh, they should all be on there. So, uh, very good part to experience. I want to get back there at some point, either this year for Winter Illuminations or next year in 2021 when they've got some stuff on. But uh, we'll see with that one. We'll see, maybe. Um, that's Josh Wildlife. Let's go into our penultimate one now. Th I'm saving the best to last. You'll you'll understand why. This is Gulliver's. This is the one for Gulliver's. So you've got Gulliver's Christmas on the back, Gulliver's Halloween, and your passport, £79 per person, which is... For a family park for kids, not too bad for families. Um, great adventure for families. So it's going to advertise all of the um, the parks. They've got all the new stuff on the front. So Warrington, new for 2017. Safari Kingdom, which includes, of course, uh, this wave slide, this wave runner attraction. Um, Matlock Bath got this uh, little course. It's like Vertigo at Drayton Manor uh, called the Pirate Training Camp. And then Milton Keynes, 2017, the brand new JCB zone with a, with some diggers and, uh, and a family drop and a couple of family drop towers. So uh, very good there. There's the Adventurers Village as well, uh, which is their short break, which you can see on the back. Very very nice. And um, yeah, I've never actually seen all the 2017 new stuff. So one park got a Vertigo type uh, climbing zone. Uh, one got the JCB zone, and one got a, a wave runner in a re-themed Safari Kingdom, which, to be fair, is not bad for a family park in terms of investment level. So, uh, you know, very, very good there, and you can see all the stuff on the back. Uh, with Gully Mouse, so very, very good there. Gulliver's, uh, all of the parks, not just one, we're giving you three Gulliver's parks. Uh, of course, now it's four with the new Rotherham one. 
Um, finally, I wanted to save this one to last. Now, I'm double-checking the year of this because uh, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, it's the eye-popping new six-story 3D IMAX theatre. So that was the opening year of that. Um, looking at uh, trying to find an opening year is very, very difficult on maps like these. But I'll give it away anyway. Universal Studios Hollywood. So uh, this is a classic one. This is a really classic um, Universal Hollywood one. You've got the new Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Um, the actual movie set of the new Jurassic Park 3, of course, the new movie at the time. And uh, the Grinch, you can experience an 8.3 Richter scale earthquake on the 10th scale of fun. So that was, of course, when uh, you had the, um, the earthquake attraction, the chilling psycho house and the Bates Motel. Jesus, look at the new attractions on here. Um, Back to the Future, the ride, Jurassic Park, the ride, Terminator 2 3D. Um, this is just brilliant. You can be an extra in the new Naughty Professor sound effects show. Don't you remember that one? Uh, you can go into the Sea of Thrills in Waterworld, a live sea war spectacular. Uh, don't miss the gunslinging good time at the Wild 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 West Sun Show. Or introduce yourself to Lucy Ricardo, Groucho Marx, Marilyn Monroe and Charlie Chaplin. Very, very good stuff there. Um... You know, this has been, this has been a, a book at this theme park for me for a long, long time, Universal Hollywood, uh, along with um, Universal Orlando. And, you know, seeing all the stuff here, the premier one-stop, non-stop entertainment center known as the Universal City Walk, the new attraction for that year as well. Um, I'll have to double check, see if they do mention some kind of year at some point. <laughs> um, this is the late 90s, so it's definitely around that mark. Um, comment down below exactly what year because I've got no idea and it doesn't say uh, but it's the new Jurassic Park 3 movie out of the time and Universal City Walk was introduced so uh, I'm trying to wrap my brain around it but you know very very good there and you know I'm glad I picked that one out I was picking the rule is with these I pick out five random pieces of merchandise so it's four leaflets and a pin badge or it could be you know the next week it could be two leaflets a pin badge and two resins small or large and it could be a mug. I've got a mug sitting right there that could be chosen next week. Uh, well, next few weeks. So, you know, it's very nice to do these random merchandise showcases around a month at a time. So, um, you know, again, like I said, keep sending your merchandise in no matter where from, no matter how far, no matter what attraction, whether it's theme park, water park, zoo, museum, anything. Just send it in. Picture, social media links in the description down below. You can send them in and I will get them on the show. But, for now guys, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of the Merchandise Showcase. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. Oh, we've got another update coming today uh, from Balantis from Halloween. I need a break, so I'm going to have to get a guest presenter. Maybe I'll get Michael Myers on the phone again. And uh, for now guys, keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.